China's army has sent dozens of planes and a fleet of ships toward Taiwan in a day-long display of force directed at the claimed island. The Chinese act comes as a response to what it calls U.S.-Taiwan provocation and a strategic challenge, referring to America's latest defense spending bill, which authorizes increased security cooperation with Taiwan. This is a firm response to the current escalation of provocations by the U.S. in collusion with the Taiwan authorities. The PLA conducted a joint combat readiness security patrol and joint firepower striking exercise involving troops of multiple services and arms in the waters and airspace around Taiwan Island. Chinese forces will take all necessary measures to resolutely safeguard national sovereignty and territorial integrity. It is the largest ever Chinese Air Force display into the island's air zone. The island's military actively tracks China's military activities. Taiwan said it monitored the Chinese moves through its land-based missile systems, as well as on its own Navy vessels. Taiwan will extend its compulsory military service from four months to a year starting in 2024. In the face of China's military, diplomatic and trade pressure, the longer military service applies to men born after 2005. Taiwan must strengthen its own self-defense ability so that it can secure its national security and interests, as well as receiving more international support. The future training for the mandatory service will take the models used in the U.S. and other advanced countries. China's military maneuvers toward the island has intensified in recent years which comes as a response to U.S. government actions in support of Taiwan. Beijing sees visits from foreign governments to Taiwan as a de facto recognition of the island as independent and a challenge to China's claim of sovereignty.